What are you doing out here? I'm trying to get this target. How long you been here? 15 minutes. Huh? What's the low tide at? Ain't for two hours yet, is it? Hour and a half, maybe. Low tide, I'm, low. I'm going to Ocean View and I see his truck, so I stopped. That's Ooh. big. That's big. That's the big guy right down there. Oh. I'm going to Ocean View. I ain't got but one penny, 15 minutes. Really? Uh, using Ocean View? Yes, you um, thing I, on camera. I got mine off. Huh? I got mine off. I turned mine off because it interferes with your Excalibur bad. It could be a sinker, though. Well, that's better than a goddamn bottle cap. That's all this place has put out the last couple of days is bottle caps. But I when I saw it, when I saw his truck, I said, "Damn, I better stop here." I got a little gold uh, chain, uh, Dana, and a uh, what do you call him? A bullet. No. Nothing in there. Might be that piece of brown thing right there. Where this? It might be. Yeah, that is it, ain't it? Yeah. I'm going to the view. Me and Guru are going right back from where we left from yesterday. Did you hunt over here yet? Yeah. Well, we come. That's where we come all the way through yesterday. We didn't park here, we parked over there. Yeah, I've seen you. I've seen Denny down there by Greeny. It looks better today than it did yesterday. A lot of rocks there, though. It's hard on your scoop. Hold on a minute. I've always had an iron program in my CTX, but I don't use it much. But. I decided to try it today because this place was loaded with iron yesterday. So I got the iron program set up. Two tone first and first coin. We'll see how that does. You know when you go to program two, the, the all metal screen, well from the fact that you got a little blue line on the bottom, discrimination. Well I took that all out. So I don't have any discrimination whatsoever on the screen today. Stand by. Brought us to a damn ball spot. What? You brought us to a ball spot. I see that. What are you doing? Bringing us to a place like this? Well, I had a chair here, so I come down and sit on the chair. I see you taking a little break. Let's get out of here and go someplace else. Well, we tried a cave. We've been every place else today. Slough is still there. We got some fine depositors. All right, stand by. Let's see what happens here. Well, the best find of the day. Look at that. A quarter and a dime in the same scoop. Good gracious. Somebody made a comment about me complaining about taquitos falling through the scoop. Suggested I get a new scoop with slits in the back or put some wire mesh in my scoop. Well, for 20 years, I've tried everything you could think of. I bought scoops with little holes. I put wire in them. I put this in them. I put that in them. One summer I found 200 studs at Virginia Beach. 200. Out of 200, I think three or four were gold. And they wouldn't equal one gold ring in weight. I, met, I weighed them. I don't remember what it was. So since that time, I've gone to the two scoop 
two, two, falls through twice rule. If it falls through twice, I don't look for it anymore. Hey, a nickel. That's why I don't care about it falling through. I do this hobby for three things. I do it for a hobby, I do it for exercise, and I do it for money. Many of y'all know I'm broke. And if you don't know it, you find it out right now. I used to have a, well, it's probably still on here, a donation page. A lot of people send me some money from time to time. Then I started sharpening knives. And I started to generate extra income. And it's done pretty well. I look for gold, and that's all. And I have to find the other stuff to find the gold. And as you can see, I'm having a terrible year. But that's okay. Summer's just beginning. We'll see how it goes. Look, the guru gives you these subtle hints. <laughs> he says, I'm going to get ready to go. Well, I'll be able to show you some gold. Guru found a little gold chain, uh, I think he said two days ago. It's a pretty little chain. Oh, yeah, really fine little chain. Man, that thing's nice. 10K, he's having. Yeah. Got a little medallion on it with some ice on it. I wouldn't be surprised if sparkly as that ice is. They're real. They're really sparkly little diamonds there, buddy. Yes, sir. That's a nice little taquito right there. Yeah. Here's the two rings I got in the day. Mm -hmm. This is a nice ticket right here, buddy. Yeah. You clean up and sell that baby for some, some ammo. Really? Yeah. Well, here's the roundup. Three spins we made to get this. It's funny how the beach can be full of targets one day and hardly none the next day. <laughs> Got three reports from the land of Nala, very bleak. We were going to go tonight, me and the ring man, and a new young gentleman named Lazarus. We've got a brand new two day old CTX. We were just over ring man, so I was showing him how to set it up and everything. He's in the military here at the Naval Air Station in Oceana. Nice kid. I'll show you a picture of him. He's going to go tonight, or it was, but it just got through raining. I don't know if it's going to be any worse or not, but tides look like at 10.30. Me and the ring man were thinking about going at 8.30. And it's only uh, 7.09 right now. I'm not sure we're going to go yet or not. we have to see. Anyway, here's the great nut. Here's the what's it. It's got something in it sounds good. That's all. I think this is a, it just came up in a scoop. And I have no idea what it is, but it looks like it ought to be one of those legs off one of those uh, gyrocopter jobs, you know, like, what's the name found that time? The legs that they land on or sit on? You know what I'm talking about, them four propeller jobs that fly around. Remote control. And sometimes they fly away. But that's what this looks like. Okay. See you tomorrow. Look at that. It's a nice piece of glass in it in blue. Take it easy. Good luck to everybody.